You will die. You will die, and then you will join my army. Meddled with my affairs long enough. It is time to end this. Yes, the time has come to end this. This evil. What are you doing here? Your ward is broken, Anse. You are no threat to me. Now, take the ward and use it to trap Alassan. What are you doing? No! I feared that after all these years, my sacrifice would prove to be of no avail. But you performed admirably. We cannot kill that necromancer, but he will trouble us no more. He became some kind of specter, and he bound himself to my ward. But that allowed me to imprison him within it. He is contained now. The important thing is that the ward is restored and can again protect the Alakir Desert. For that, I thank you. I sense that the third ward is in the greatest peril of all. The sibling of the necromancer who came here is far more skilled in the dark arts, far more dangerous, and far more ambitious. The sibling I speak of has not been slain and has possession of the third Anse ward. But I cannot sense its location. Despite our victory here, the Alakir Desert is still in danger. Whatever has befallen, you must recover the Third Ward. I do not know, but trust your destiny, for it will lead you where you need to be. First, though, you must secure my ward. Find someone you can entrust with its keeping. I sense that we will meet again. May the gods watch over you until then.
what foulness is afoot now. The dead have risen? I thought Alassane was purposefully not raising them. Are we too late? Has Alassane made himself into a lich? He's not? Oh, we should rejoice then! That bastard! I relish the knowledge of his defeat. Without him, the rest of these necromancers do not concern me. Not in the least. What of the Anse Ward? Do you have it? And you brought it to me? That's quite an honor. I promise you, for as long as I live, it will not fall into enemy hands again. Now, only the final Anse Ward remains. But if Uwafa and Alassan are gone, who has it? Another sibling? But who could that be? Wait, Satura did have another child, a very young daughter. I remember her now, nipping at her brother's heels. I do not remember her name. Somehow we must find her, though. I think I know where to find the third Anse Ward. It seems the necromancer Alassan underestimated you. I was hiding outside the lighthouse. After you disrupted the ritual, I went in and found Alassan's notes. I think I know where the withered hand has taken the third Anse Ward. Hunding's watch. The withered hand is seeking out the birthplaces of the Anse who forged the wards. Just as Alassan did here, they can use these locations to corrupt the wards. The third Anse, Halela, was born near Hunding's watch. I am sure of nothing, but this is my suggestion for where you should begin your search. There is a wise woman in Hunding's watch, Priestess Sermon. Perhaps she can give you more insight. Since both Alassan and Uwafa have been dealt with, the Withered Hand may be considerably weakened. Perhaps the third Anse Ward is closer at hand than you realize. If the gods are with you, I believe you will recover it quickly. Yes, and he passed along your message. Though I'd much prefer to stay here, I will return to Master Zore in Bergama shortly. I only wanted to share what I discovered with you and Prince Azar first. I could spend hours telling you about the role the Third Ward has played in history, but I would only put you to sleep. All you need to know is that the Withered Hand has it, and Hunding's Watch is the best place to start your search. Don't you? You've foiled their plans here and at Tuwaka's throne. You've defeated both Uwafa and Alassan. I would imagine the Withered Hand is in considerable disarray.
killed many. I have killed more. Fool, you are outclassed. I don't want revenge. I want your submission. You look like you're at loose ends. Interested in making some money? The boss hired a matchmaker named Ashtad to find a groom for his daughter, and he sent me out here to recruit someone. He says he'll pay well. He's up at our camp now. Can you help? I've been out here long enough. No, you'll help Ashtad. The boss suspended hostilities for the wedding. No one will attack you. And if you take the job, tell that matchmaker to call me in. This is no work for a certified cutthroat. Go on, through the tunnel and up the hill. Who are you? You don't look like one of the ungodly. Wait, are you here to help the matchmaker? Because that's me. Yes, well, uh, I'm in a bind. I'm considering potential grooms for Sarvia at Wilder, but she refuses to talk to me. I have to know what she wants in a husband or Wilder the ungodly who hired me won't gather the dowry. So I need you to talk to her. Eager. Great. Once you learn what Sarvia and Wilder wants in a groom, talk to her father, Wilder the Ungodly. Tell him it's time to get the dowry where the grooms can inspect it, to see how serious we are. Now go, and be persuasive.
Don't talk to me. I have problems. Big problems. He wouldn't understand. I guess he's just not going to give up and go away. All right. I suppose I'll have to talk to you then. At least you have an honest face. So, as if I didn't know, what is it he wants? I'm not looking for a bridegroom at all. Marriage? <laughs> Maluk, take it. I want to travel, see the world, have adventures. No, you should be talking to my father, Wilder the Ungodly. This was his idea, not mine. Are you here to help arrange my daughter's marriage? She's got her mother's spirit and her temper. So, what does Sarvia Ed Wilder expect in a bridegroom? Good, then it's up to me. First he needs to be strong or my daughter will make a fool of him. Respectful of his elders and wealthy, of course. Oh, and uh, not too hard on the eyes. I don't want to get sick of looking at him. Of course, of course. A good groom deserves a good dowry. I have some gold and silks from, uh, well-wishers. They're stored in the upper camp. Gather the goods and take them to the entrance tunnel. Ashtad wants the dowry near the entrance where prospective grooms can inspect it. I'll send a guard down with a chest. Place the dowry in it. All right, off you go. Are you swindler? Get me out of here. All right, I suppose I owe you that. I'm not a matchmaker. I'm a swindler, a confidence man. This is one of my classics. I tell the Mark I'll arrange a marriage. They gather a dowry. I steal the dowry and disappear. Now, get me out of here. Because I've reformed. Now I only target those who deserve it, like these idiot bandits. I'm only taking their ill-gotten gains. Serves them right. The keys to unlock my shackles are in Wilder's tent. Get them, please.
looking for something? A set of keys, perhaps? Everything, I think. I'm not so easily fooled as my father. I knew there was something wrong with that matchmaker from the start. Eventually, I figured out his game. The same way I figured you for a harmless do. You are, aren't you? Only if I get to go with you. Ashtad's plan was brilliant. A bit flawed, but brilliant. He probably would have gotten away with it if I hadn't tipped off my father. He lives the life I want, traveling the world and having exciting adventures. Sorry, I haven't got them. But I could get them if you can distract my father and the ungodly for a few minutes. My father and his bruisers are at the upper sparring ring, through the far tunnel. Why don't you go challenge him to a fight? Yes, he's bound by the unwritten laws of the ungodly. My father can't refuse a challenge and keep his position as the boss. Just don't kill him, all right? He may be an ox's arse, but he's still my father. Thank you. I'll grab the keys and free Ashtad while you distract the camp. Meet me outside our entrance tunnel after you've challenged my father. I am quite sure you'll survive. your funeral. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Now I get to take it out of your hide. What? How, how do you know about that? It's an unwritten law. Fine then. Go ahead. Watching the boss kill you isn't as good as doing it myself. But it's close. <laughs> My daughter's dowry. How full are your pockets, you snake? our leader for years. This isn't right. You're not even an ungodly. The rules might say that we have to swear loyalty to you, but to oblivion with that. We're bandits. We break the rules. No, I won't fight you, but I won't kneel to you. The others won't either. In fact, I suspect they're just as likely to cut you down as they were before. Wilder is the leader of the ungodly, and you are an enemy. I would leave if I were you. My father, does he live? Good. As you can see, I have Ashtad. With my help, he might even become a good swindler someday. Anything would be better than staying in that camp. 
It's difficult to be the daughter of a man known as the ungodly. Murwa's bosom. I'm glad to be out of that place. I want to see the lights of Sentinel. Ashtad and I will make a great team. This is the kind of matchmaking for me. Can you believe Savia Atwilder agreed to join me? I've been a one-man act till now, but she's a bright lass and will make a great partner. And she still holds the key for this chest. <laughs>